Comedian and impressionist Mike Yarwood, who was one of the biggest stars of the 1970s, has died aged 82. The comedian Mike Yarwood has died at the age of 82. He became a household name in the 60s and 70s for his impersonations of former prime ministers such as Harold Wilson and Sir Ted Heath. Sarah has been taking a look back at his life. Well, good evening and welcome to the sky. <laughs> Patrick Moore. Now, pay attention because I've got my eye on you. <laughs> Hello, Betty, Jessica. Mm. Frank Spencer. <laughs> it's Daddy on the telly again. <laughs> I'd just like to make one criticism, and I think I've said this before. I said it at the Brighton conference. Harold Wilson. Far too much of Ted. After all, he's quite capable of making a fool of himself without your help. <laughs> it's that brilliant impressionist, Mike Yarwood! The many faces of Mike Yarwood. In the 60s and 70s, he was one of the biggest names on television. Actually, Maggie asked me at the House of Commons Christmas party if I would kiss her under the mistletoe. <laughs> I said I wouldn't kiss her under anaesthetic. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. I I'm now going to He pioneered new technology to appear both as Steptoe and son. Climb upon my knee, sunny boy. These? They're more like brass bed knobs. <laughs> His Christmas Day show in 1977 is still one of the highest rated programmes of all time. <laughs> Excuse me. It attracted stars like Paul McCartney. I don't know whether you know me, but I used to be Dennis Healy. And an audience of more than 21 million. Well, I got rather fed up of being a silly billy, so I decided to become a chunky punky. <laughs> it was reported that the Queen delayed her Christmas meal so her family could watch. Uh, good evening. Um, <laughs> now, as you know, this is my very first Christmas message to the nation. Uh, and I would like to say that my mother's husband and I wish we were very happy. <laughs> When you're smiling. But Yarwood had a problem. Alcohol. The whole world smiling. Crippled by stage fright, he often drank until he blacked out. He didn't like doing new politicians like John Major and lost interest. I started getting a little bit not too finicky about the scripts and yeah. thinking, as long as I look like the people, yeah. as long as it looks good, uh, it doesn't matter whether it's funny or not. And, um... Uh, the last stop. And with Paul Merton tonight, a man who was one of the ultimate victims of Thatcher's Britain, a male impressionist, Mike Yarwood. <laughs> Mike Yarwood's career was over. And this is me. But in his day, oh, you are. he was the man of a thousand voices. And one of Britain's favourite entertainers. Many tributes are uh, coming in to Mike Yarwood overnight. Let's have a look at some of them for you. Fellow impressionist uh, Rory Bremner uh, said he was recording a tribute to him just hours before he learned of his death. He describes the comedian as the governor and the court jester of the golden age of TV. And this from David Baddiel, who shared memories of watching Mike on television with his family in the 70s. He says it was hard to overestimate what a fixture he was on British screens. Uh, we're saying a little bit later on, joined by comedians John Corshaw, Alistair McGowan as well, reflecting on Mike Yarwood's life and legacy.